I'm very excited. We have gone through a lot today. This is what we've dreamt of for five to six years. A dream that has finally been realized. Yeah. It's been a marathon day for the Drens. 12 hours to buy a car, but finally they can drive home. David hasn't driven in years, so it's up to Vivian. Her first challenge is Beijing traffic. It's 2.6 million cars of chaos, and the city expects a 40% increase by 2010. Beijing has an intricate system of fast roads and highways. Liu Xiaomin is the deputy director of Beijing's Municipal Communications Commission. The fast roads network is comprised of 15 radiating lines plus these three rings. In addition to fast road network, we have two highway rings. One of them is the fifth ring, and the other is the sixth ring. The fifth ring runs 98.7 kilometers, and the sixth ring will be 200 kilometers. But every ring road is clogged with cars. The city's answer is to build more roads. Like urban activists all over the world, Sherry Liao has an alternative solution. A city like Beijing with intensive population should develop public transportation. This is what we have been striving for and promoting. Private vehicle strategy is poorly developed, very poorly developed. If it continues like this, Beijing will become the world's largest parking lot. The Beijing Traffic Center keeps an eye on the daily traffic chaos. The number of traffic accidents in China is staggering. The World Health Organization puts road fatalities at around 250,000 a year. That's about 20% of the world's total. As for Beijing, this sign says it all. Three fatalities today, 952 deaths so far this year. Across the room, radio station FM 103.9 broadcasts its popular early morning traffic program. All of Beijing listens to its star reporters, Li Li and Yang Yang. Their morning banter ranges from congestion to civility. But some people have poor moral character. For instance, that person who jumped in the line and didn't obey traffic rules, this is an ethical problem. People like to listen to this program. Not only do they get timely updates on road information, there is also a lot of human caring in it. If Beijing has the worst traffic in the country,